moment. I'm, I want to show you Irma first because we did this future cast with Harvey and Irma is just as equally as impressive as it continues to cruise along the coast of Cuba. Look at this. When you see the time frame, I'm going to step away because I want you to be able to see that time frame. So by noon Saturday, still around Cuba, and look at the very heavy rainfall it's producing. So no one is immune from getting some very heavy rain along with maybe even some uh, scant amount of tornadoes popping up from this. Now watch, our forecast is about midnight Saturday that it'll make landfall, but it could be in the Keys if it keeps this westerly track. But this is a spot you don't want to be in. Uh, most of Florida going to, obviously going to get some rainfall from the deal, but the biggest slam ashore will be right over here on the eastern coast, not so much the other coast. So we're definitely looking at some of this as it continues to drive through. Look at Orlando with a very heavy rainfall pulling through. Not to say that the folks in Tampa or Sarasota won't get any. Certainly there'll be plenty of rainfall to spread around throughout the state as it continues up. Even through Monday, it's not quite out of the state entirely as it moves into Georgia. So very impressive stuff there. Let me show you what we're dealing with right now. Definitely looking at the uh, strat cam looking. Yes, ominous like we showed you earlier. Desert Doppler lighting up big time earlier. Flash flood warnings in play, uh, mostly west of the mountains. You folks in Pahrump have seen a pretty good light show there. And definitely looking at uh, areas across the valley and a little bit beyond. Boulder City, Henderson uh, actually managed to pull out a little bit more today. You saw plenty yesterday, not so much Boulder City, but look at the, the nature of these storms. Going over the same areas, that's the flash flooding we're talking about. That's what we'll be watching for tonight, for tomorrow as well, and giving you the first alert. Here's what computer models are saying. They Keep it very busy. Look, even through the seven o'clock hour, hit or miss thunderstorms around the valley. There'll be some breaks in the activity, as you can see. Around 9 p.m., you see that things start to settle in a little bit, but then back into the thick of things again, maybe later on tonight before it's all said and done. And even when it's said and done, it's not quite done because through Saturday, we're anticipating a much of the same. So we're hoping that we get enough out of the way that maybe we'll take out a lot of this moisture, but there's still going to be uh, some thunderstorm activity Saturday. If we were to put it in percentages, I suppose we could say 60 to 80 percent chance. So we know there are going to be plenty through Saturday that drops temperatures down. When it starts to dry out, it might be uh, Monday, but Monday still has a small chance, maybe a slight chance to get a thunderstorm or two. Still see upper 90s to right around 100 through next week. Back to you guys.